These images are being seen through the eyes of a humanoid robot. When you see this humanoid robot, perhaps some sci-fi movie scenes will pop into your head. But this is now a reality. This is the first humanoid robot our team has developed. Developed by a team in Zhejiang, led by Wang Xingxing, the robot's brain helps it maintain balance while walking through assessing obstacles in its way. The effort needed to train the robot is being helped along with the use of artificial intelligence, meaning less programming work for the team. In the past, robots had to be programmed manually for different scenarios. For example, if there is a different terrain in front of it, or if there is a cup you want it to grab, we humans have to type in all that code. So it takes a lot of time and energy. Now, with AI, you don't need to change the model or put in more manpower. You just put it in a different simulated scenario and let it get the training. Chinese scientists are developing increasingly advanced humanoid robots capable of mimicking complex human behaviors. An AI-powered interface called Humanoid Robot Factory is a system used to complete hardware design and algorithm selection with less input from human engineers. Our big factory uses artificial intelligence. We humans only need to input the usage scenarios and required tasks based on our needs. If we want to design a robot, for example, we can click this to start designing. When we are in this interface, we can choose the scenarios. For example, we can just select our door and then we will click the next step. At this time, our robot system will design a relatively ideal robot shape based on our input. Using these AI interfaces, the team say the speed at which certain design tasks can be completed has been shortened from half a year to half a month. China's humanoid robot market is growing, with patent applications surpassing those of Japan, South Korea, France, and the USA. And with the market for smart robots rapidly increasing, these new AI systems could be key in driving growth in the coming years. Jen Copestake, CGTN.